Whew. All right, guys. Just thought I'd uh, be a bit cautious when I logged in today, in case the old bear got me. But um, thankfully, he didn't. So we're going to carry on from where we left off. I've just killed the bear there, just uh, so he leaves me alone. So as of last episode, we were st still getting stuff done. We've got this ready to light. We've got 16 litres of water, so we need some wood, some matches and some bark. So in here, we've got some matches and we should have some bark in here got a couple in there and we need some wood so we'll grab one of those and we need a saw so we grab our trusty saw let's get over here let's uh, put that away so let's cut our firewood it's going to take five minutes of game time so it's nothing so let's get this uh, water purification underway. Ah, oh, we need four bark. Okay, let's uh, get the old machete. Hopefully there's no more bears. And there we go. So let's take that. Let's switch that for our stabby stick. It's not a bad morning today. Skies are looking quite good. So, <clears throat> we've got that in number two. So, just hack away at the tree. And you'll get bark jumping off. Won't chop the tree down with this, but you can get loads of bark. It does take the machete life down quite quickly. Because what we got on it now, 65%, it's not too bad, but... It's a really quick way of getting back. Uh, do we have any go here? Yep. So yeah, have another quick chop at it. I think that's it for come on. Get a, go to a different tree. Grab a load of bark. We're gonna need to uh, maybe knock up some matches soon. So we're down to 58% now. You can see the old life is going down on it quite quickly. But it is a very quick way of getting uh, some bark. So what did we get out of that little lot? Yeah, so we got what? We had two. So that's 32. So we got 30 pieces of bark off that little quick episode. Let's shut our gate. So let's get that get that going. There you go. So we get distilling. So that just takes what it needs directly out of your bag. So what I'm gonna do go back to my grill stand and we stick 16 in there. Put the rest back in there. 16 is the maximum that it can hold. So it's a well done potato. I can't remember how much that gives us to be honest. Let's have a look. Not a massive amount, but better than nothing. So let's grab us a Coke quick. Drink that. So we're fit and ready to go. So while the bear is here, I, oh, didn't need to open that. I need to interact with the bear. There you go. Oh, hurry up. Can we go about there? We we'll butcher him. Get us some more fat. Oh, it's going to take us one and a half hours. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. It'll take what it takes. We we'll get us two meat. So we get that on the go. That's it. Grab two more logs. 
we knock up some firewood quick. It's only 10 minutes. So there we go, we got ourselves some firewood. Oh, trying to punch the fireplace. So we split that in half, we put four there, we drag these out, put those there, and we put that in there, light her up. That's it, and then we can go to the render side and we'll pop those in there to render. And we're gonna have to drop that one down there for now. And then on the grill stand we'll pop our meat. We've still got one there to use. Let's leave that cooking for a minute. So we'll get rid of this charcoal. We chuck these in there. They stack in 16s. And we use those for making matches. We use just some sticks that you find on the ground and those to, to make your matches. We'll rest for five minutes. That should get these steaks a bit closer, they're medium done at the moment. So we will build a refrigerator at some point, but obviously we need a generator and uh, stuff for that. So come on meat, when it goes it'll go all of a sudden and you want to get it off otherwise it'll burn. There you go. And we've gone. So we'll, uh, we'll pop those in there, we keep that other bit with us, we will chuck the old saw in, so we've got a bit of meat, we've got a drink, uh, there's no point carrying, I don't think, uh, which one's it in, I can't bloody remember, because uh, we've got another handgun there. Let's take that one out. It's one of these. There you go. What's that for? That's for the hunting rifle that we don't have. So we'll put those in there. So I'm pretty sure that's not loaded. No, zero. So we'll chuck that in there. And we'll put that in there. And the machete can go back in the car, so I think uh, we're good to go. Let's shut that. So what we're going to do, I think today, is we'll take a trip. Oh, I forgot about uh, the ore, didn't I, that we was smelting. Let's just quickly go and have a look, because we had some iron ore in. So we've got two, four, five of those metal ingots. So how many do we need for a sledge? Uh, we need ten. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more ore. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to go back to the mine. I've still got the pickaxe. We we'll do a bit more mining we need to be careful as um, we are injured what I'm going to do is just split one and split that put these in the van because we still need to get that jack made don't we as well there's so much to do um, what was it we needed for the jack so we've got those, those, it was gears we needed, so using uh, these low quality ingots here, how many, oh that takes 45 minutes, so we do that when we are bored and we needed something to do, I'm not going to do that now, say so our water is uh, going so 
let's take a trip back down this way and because we really really need that sledgehammer to start getting us some serious materials for the like the scrap and the components we are going to need absolutely tons of that and the sledgy is a is a quick way of gathering up the materials that you need just by destroying cars and caravans and things so we get ourselves over a little bit got a stick joggling about on the bonnet Ooh, nearly had that tree get ourselves back to the mine and hopefully we will get some decent iron nodes Ooh. Well, could have flipped it then that was lucky it's turning around rear visibility is very poor you have to kind of guide it be nice if we could see out of the mirrors but uh, we can't so let's get back in this mine right so we've got the pickaxe in two so no no yes there is god damn it's copper uh, maybe a double node yes it is it's a double node so what's the second metal both copper. Okay. We will be uh, using copper at some point, but you don't particularly need huge amounts of copper. Oh, God damn it. Copper again. This is a single node. So, grab those four. I wonder up here, walk. I don't know why this guy always walks like he's got an injured leg. I don't know why. And then we got some, uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Saltpeter, is it? Or zinc. Yeah, zinc. So I will go outside, I will save, reload back in. And uh, we carry on from there. All right, guys. So we're back in. I've just reloaded, and hopefully uh, some of these nodes are spawned. Ah, oh, god damn it! Zinc again. Now, this is a double node, so maybe we get some iron. We've got copper and zinc. God damn it! It's because it knows I'm after iron. It's like, yeah, screw you. Struggle for it. There is a big mine with the Berserker in it. Um, it's right to the other side of the map from here. So if this is going to continuously uh, dick me around, we may go to the big mine. Not really got the weaponry and stuff to uh, fight him, so we'll have to avoid him. There are a quest or two we can pick up down there in the other mine. So again, we go back outside and we log out and log back in. So I'll see you in a sec. The old stamina is dropping. Yes! We've got an iron node. Thank God for that. So if we go to the uh, big mine you do tend to get a lot more iron nodes but there's a lot more infected to fight because obviously they can be there day or night in the darkness of the cave so this is a double node so as we can, you can see we're healing we're in the final stages of with the arm now so we don't actually have that meter that's telling us we're doing damage when we're pickaxing okay no nodes at this end at all then 
so as long as we don't actually get attacked and injure that arm again it should be good after the when that white bar reaches the far right we should be good to go then so I'll go back out and reload might be an iron one up there. We got a double node here, is it a single I think? There we go, loads of zinc. Doo -doo -doo, come on. Oh, we've got a copper as well. Is it a single node? Yeah, looks like it. A bit more copper. Didn't know which piece to pick up first then. So this is what we're after. Is it a single node? I think, yeah. Not enough. Not good enough. Need more. I'm greedy. Need more. So, if I don't start getting plenty of iron soon, I'll uh, go to the big mine. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> what we wanted. Oh, double node. I like it when we get triple nodes of those. There's a, a better amount of iron. Oh, got another iron. Lovely jubbly. So, eight of these gets us two ingots of iron. So, we'll have to have a look how many we've got. So yeah, we've got enough. Coolio. So start the engine helps. Let's get the back quickly and we're stick this on to cook. And uh, see how everything else is doing. Driving. Back in the uh, back in the car in a minute. Should have done that before I went. Ah, oh, what an idiot! I forgot the metal. I'm going to go very far without that. So let's chuck this pick back in while we are at it. It was this one, wasn't it? Yep. So. Uh, Blue ores. And we're gonna. Which one's got our stuff in this one? We chuck this in there, like so, just to clear our bags out of it. So let's, uh, let's get this on to cook. take 45 minutes so how much we're gonna get in there then pull that down we got one two three four five one, two four we'll put those two together and we'll just drop those on the table, just there. 
so right let's have a look at our hunger situation all right let's eat that and not sure yeah we got a coke there drink that it's going to go off anyway. Uh, what are those MREs doing? Yeah, 88%, so that's fine. Um, we did have some water bottles. I'm not quite sure where I put those. Did I... Uh, there's one there. So... This has got zero in it. So we can pop that in there and we can take what has already gone through so now we have safe drinking water tells us it's safe at the bottom there so where we're not quite topped off there now we can drink until enough and it will just take what it needs to fill that in so let's uh, get ourselves back out Anything's respawned in here. It takes quite a long time normally. So I don't think I left anything in these today. Okay. So let's get back in the old car. What I might do. So I'll have a little trip. See if we can find some of those star areas with the little lean-to type contraption because we can usually break those up yeah, we should be able to hopefully break break this one up so let's put the old hatchet in there see if we can break this one up this is the only one you can't do. Um, uh, 1.76 litres in there, so we'll have that. I've got the can on me. So let's uh, fill that can. It's coming up for 12 o'clock, so we need to start seriously thinking about the mist. And what I'm going to do is fill the tank. So there we go. So we're nearly, nearly at a full tank. So let's go and have a look for another one of those. We up treat. It's been, it's been quite a while since I've played it, so I'm trying to remember where they are. Uh, I don't think there's any down that way. Let's have a look up here. Think, think. There's the others. Uh, uh, you know, I can't think. Uh, what have we got here? That's that little tin shack. car here. I think. No, that's a tent. So that one's no good either. Little chuck. So we might get shot at in a sec by the old bandy toes down here. But we're not going to hang around. Hang a right. And no, they didn't get a shot off. So I, don't know what, I really can't remember where they are now. That was close. So we passed the old White House. I really need to get my bow and arrow up and uh, running so we can get
get up and start taking out some bandits. Is there anything at that place back there? I don't think I've looked. This place here. I don't think I've been here. I don't think there's anything. I can't pick up that board. I don't think there's anything inside. That's no, pretty, pretty short, really. Uh, what's that look like? I don't know if the mist's coming in. Can't remember if I've been up to this one. There's usually a bit of food and stuff about here. No, I'm not been here. There's a can of coke over there. Nothing in here. some beef. I'll take that. We've got this can of coke. And I think that's going to be our lot. So it's a bit of a shame really you can't you can't get into these. Can't really do anything with them at all. So let's get our ass back to our car. So what I might do is go and have a look, see if we can get uh, a sniper rifle for ourselves. We'll go back down past the refinery and we'll take the old guys out there and uh, see if we can get him to drop us a rifle. It's only about a 15% chance of a rifle spawning but uh, let's see we might get shot shot at going past here to get bandits hanging around up there on the right uh, on the left can't tap me right from the left so this is where it gets a bit dicey is getting through here because it's not a lot of room there you go you're shooting uh, oh, you wasted three bullets that time four five He's still going. Jeez, he really wanted us that time, didn't he? So let's get back here. We'll have a look. Can you see any of his little uh, hoppos walking about? How many rounds we got in this? Got quite a few there. Let's go and have a look. Get ourselves up close. Last time we came here, I said you got to watch out because they can. I have been caught out once by a guy patrolling around the back of here. Uh, they can't generally see you through the chain link fence. So you just have to be careful they don't come walking around the corner. We're going to see if we can get that guy up there. So I can't see anybody else around here. Ourselves up here. Got to crouch down because of that bloody piece of metal there. Have a little look. He's coming. Did he drop me? He not dropped me that bloody rifle again. Jeez. Let's put this away. Let's see if we can. He's not. He's not laid on it. Make sure he's not dropped it down below. Stick. I'm sure he wasn't shooting at me with that stick. around here. God damn it. I wanted, uh, wanted that sniper rifle makes life so much easier. You can get that. 
Yeah, can't climb on there. Balls. Ooh, it's a bit dicey. I'll tell you what we do. We take a trip towards the sea. Uh, you can call it a city, either it's a town or it's not very big. It's bigger than most of the other places. There's a bandit camp on the right here. They are complete assholes. That sniper will take you out in a heartbeat. There he goes. So we need to get him off our case. So what I might do, shall I do the tunnel? Do you know what? I can't make my mind up today what to do. Let's go to the sea. That's what we said we was doing. We go to the town, sea, whatever. This railway line doesn't really go anywhere. It crosses here. It not really a lot of good for much. What I normally do is we come up here. This is the city, so I'll get myself up on this grass over to the left. And I'll get my car behind this house. So it's a bit out of sight. And then we'll start to make our way in. Keeping an eye out for the old rascally bandits because they do patrol. There's one up there. Let's get ourselves in here. I've heard people say that uh, some people get infected in this building. Um, and in the time that I've been playing this, I'll be honest, I've never seen the infected in here. Um, yeah. Huge nothing in there. So let's eat that. And we'll, oh, we'll eat that. Give us a bit of bag space. It's a shame we can't get things like this. Free trees are working. Can I pick that plank up? Yep. Try not to get shot. Uh, did I pick up that scrap metal? Yeah, I did. There's so much stuff that you could use. Not bad places to come. There's another shirt. Don't really need it. Oh, another tray of art. Lovely. I think that's a different sound for the tray of art. I don't remember it sounding like that. A couple of bottles. Oh, a bandage. Nice. What a waste of a pool table. That I've had to camp out a few times in this place because the old mist comes in and catches you out I don't think there's anything in there in that little statue uh, oh, another engine awesome. there's usually two lockers here yeah they're there but they're invisible there's normally a couple of lockers you can grab but yeah, they just kind of load in like ghosts, they're not actually there. Uh, should be a military box, is there yet? Yeah. Oh, nice, look. What else have we got? Got some more Kevlar armour. So let's offload some of this. Get it into there. junk but, uh, we can use this to block the doorway if the mist does come in we can stick this across the entrance let's rotate him around a bit 
sometimes he wedges on the wall, so I'm stuck now. Come here, come on. Oh, God damn it. Stuck. There we go. Don't know what I was stuck on. Another little glitch. Right. Oh my God. So the bandits can come in here if they see you. So I'm going to check that there. Just to keep them off my back. And I'll have a look in the old washroom. So you could be able to take those towels and all this stuff if uh, it was real life. There's so much more stuff you can use. Go surfing on the old washboard. The old baseball bats are crap. It's a shame you can't mod them, stick nails and bolts and things through them to make them more effective. So I'm going to make myself a shield very soon. So we'll have a look, see who's about. See if I can get this box to my car. So let's run. Run like a goddamn bastard. Right, let's rotate it around. Push him in. Oh, come on. Play the game. Boom. There we go. So let's um, dump out some of this other stuff. It's not the best battery in the world, but it'll do. At two o'clock, no mist yet. It's a little bit concerning. So let's go around the back. You have to keep your eyes open. I have actually made this into a base once, many, many months and months ago. I fenced all this area off, but I used to get infected falling down from up there and getting into my base. So it's not the best place. I had to take all of these trees out because I built a few lock cabins. This was my car park storage in here. All my car engines, batteries, and all that sort of stuff. Those green buildings opposite there, I don't think there's anything in these. I've never known anything. So there is a building up there, like a shop sort of thing with no windows and there's usually a lot of stuff just floating in mid-air we up had a bit of lag then oh there's a bandito I wonder if I can take him out one shot with this yes that's what I like about this gun reload just in case somebody heard that trouble guns is loud this is why it's nice if you can get yourself a bow and arrow pretty quick can't see anyone let's just loot this dude quick oh, great a broken gun what do you fucking do just over there that's the uh, place where there's quite a lot of stuff in there but you tend to whoa where's that coming from where's that coming from I can't see no one I can't see the dude whoever's shooting at me the trouble they know I'm here now that's why it's uh, good to get the old bow and arrow going quite early on I've never normally gone this long without producing the bow and arrow but 
Uh, so it all works. The guy down there. It's not seen me yet. Try and keep trees between me and them. a bit blind. Can't see him. <gasps> He's caught on the edge. I just did three rounds. God damn it. Being up here though, hopefully. The others won't have heard me. Can't see anybody else, so hopefully we're good. This is such a good weapon. But it's the only one you can't manufacture ammunition for. You have to get it off of the, the bandits and that. Sewing kit, thought I'd see some up. So it's a bit of a pain. It'd be nice if you could actually make the rounds for this. So hopefully after the next patch they'll actually bring that in. Some more scrap metal there stuck in the back of there so I think that as they say is that for there let's hope it's around it over there got a broken gun come on bloody ammunition off of him. I think there could be there's a wheel there. Let's have a quick look in here. I don't think there's anything. No. Oh come on, caught on those tires. No, nothing of any significance. Rag. Scrap. Tree, another wheel. Uh, we still got a bit of space. Not too bad. Nothing up this side. Yeah. I don't really want those batteries. I might sling them. Have a quick look in here. Get back behind the fence where they can't see us. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, had a couple of days I had to take off as well from uh, recording. I had a migraine, so I spent two days and one night laid in bed with the lights off, just in the dark, trying to rest with a thumping headache. So that was great fun. Lost a lot of recording time. But hey ho, it is what it is. Let's get up on here. Now a 
Sophia. Let's have a look. Let's see, we got a couple of bandits there. Too far away, really. Right. If we stick to this side, we uh, we should be good. Let's get ourselves down from here. And off. So this this building ahead is where you get the floaty stuff. You see, some infected could spawn into here. Keep forgetting to check the trunks on the cars. There you go. Right. That made a lot of noise. very surprised if that doesn't drag somebody through I don't know where that uh, infected legged it to but kind of said, this is a good place you can see all the stuff hanging in the air Plenty of painkillers. Oh, a cog. That's good. Can't pick that up. I'm out of. Uh, thought I see something. So I think we can jimmy this door. It's going to take five minutes. Hopefully, we won't get shot in the back. We'll go take the. <gasps> My God. Oh my God. A hunting rifle. Drop that. Uh, oh my God. You beauty. I need to get rid of some stuff, so we'll drop that. And we'll drop that. I can always come back for those. F food and stuff is more important at the moment. And those seeds. Oh, come on. Uh, drop those. I can always come back. I'll drop that as well. Because I don't really need that at the moment. Oh, I don't want the empty bottle. I want the seeds. OMG. I've got a sniper rifle. Oh my god. You beauty. No good to me at the minute. Can't do anything with it, but so let's uh I got some ammo back at my base. Well I've still got them two bloody axes. So this will stay here indefinitely so I can come back and get that um, get a weapon out just in case so I want that cog um, I don't know what I'll do let's go back in here just quickly I'm going to waste a bit of this but you see it's tight it's uh, Life is dropping off slowly. Do that. And I'll drink that. That gives us nearly full health. And we've got two slots. So what was out here that might be worth taking? So we've got one gear. We've got another Coke. We've got a gear. 
painkiller. We leave the bottles. I leave. I'll take that. This door doesn't open, so let's just have a quick look over here. If we got anything in this little shed. Uh, the trouble is, I'm burning through ammunition here, but today it was worthwhile to get that sniper rifle. I can't believe that. I'm kind of in shock a little bit that I've got it just there, handed to me on a plate. Let's go over here, we'll have a look, see if anybody's about. Because they do come around here. Don't know if there's anything worth having in there. Painkillers. head we can blow off with this cannon. Oh, balls that up. So they will uh, they'll go off the hunt after a while. Fuck me I couldn't have screwed that up anymore. Where did they go then? They must have gone round here. So I don't want to get hit again in the arm while it's uh, nearly healed. So they will go back to their sort of standard search pattern if they don't see me after a certain amount of time. know where they went. I bet they're in the building underneath me. Wait for me to pop my head out. What have I got now? Five rounds and that's it. Wow. That was a bit of a cock up. in a minute it'll be bang and I'll be dead what have I got in my inventory there yeah so we're a bit full up still there he goes over the back his pattern he's gone over that side now he's coming back Let's see if I can miss him again okay where is he and he's hiding whoa Got that one. Took a hit though. I'm still doing alright. If you get another bandit comes out to 
to inspect the dead body, you'll lose whatever loot is on that body at the time. See, like that one was coming. not uh, as quiet as a bow and arrow but just as effective just see if we've got any other dudes kicking around before I drop down there's going to be more behind but uh, come on get down <laughs> panicked a bit then Go and check this dude out quick. Let's just chuck those off of him. Take that. Got 14 rounds. So I wasted that. This is actually uh, you can use as a base. Chuck that on the ground. What I might do. Yeah, let's check. Let's go and clear these bodies and then I'm going to run back to my car quick to go and empty my bags. They can come walking through these buildings, so you have to be careful. Scrap metal parts. Alright, let's go. Get back. Go and unload this stuff. And then we'll come back and collect some more. back and picks our stuff up keeping an eye out could do with a load of uh, rounds for this gun to be honest oh come on just want the apple thank you so shooting from the hip wasn't very good uh, with this gun it seems to aim over to the left if you shoot from the hip you think you're hitting it but you're a bloody mile off so let's grab that tape I don't know what this dude had junk is there anything here no nothing here so we've got these shops here which can sometimes be quite good for the scrap and the components. A bit of ducky tape. You just have to be careful of these open doors. Look at that. Oh, some more gloves. But yeah, the old bandits, they ain't the uh, sharpest tools in the bag, but they're kind of, they'll get the, uh, get the job done. Uh, restaurants or whatever they are or coca-rola components scrap metal once you start building you burn through this stuff so quick the components and the scrap it's ridiculous how fast you'll go through it that's why we need that old sledge can get the bandits will come up into these buildings all the way up so you have to be careful they can spawn into these buildings it on the way out. Not scrap 
pile. Some bread. Pretty uh, slim pickings. Go into this one. We can't. Oh, we can shut that door. Wasn't sure if we could interact with that one. Uh, the old bandits can open the doors as well, so there's no stairs on this one. No third floor plank. Yeah, don't want to be tangling with too many more. Wasting too much ammo. Shut that. Oh, somebody's been eating the old uh, Tomato paste there. Not saving it for me. So, anything up here? Sewing kit. Yeah, more rag. Sewing kit. Yeah, rag or clothing stuff. And I need a lot more cordage. Let's have a look in the back of this truck. See if there's anything. Nope. Have a look in the back of this. No, I don't want that. Right. I think that'll do. Don't think there's anything. Bracket in the floor. Okay. Um, how many bag spaces have I got? No, I've still got no slots. So we leave that other stuff for another day. So I'm going to head back out. We've still got part of the city to to do one day. But, uh, there will still be some more bandits wandering around in there. Make sure my box it fell off the back. Nope, it's still on. So, let's get ourselves back. Don't think there's anything in the back of that truck. No, that one's empty too. So, uh, yeah, that's another dead end up that way. So, we get ourselves back down. What time is it? Should have looked before I got in the car. It's oh, it's nearly six o'clock. I was thinking of doing the tunnel, but we do that another day. I need to get back. The fatigue is getting down, and uh, we need to get this stuff back. I've got uh, a sledgy to make. And we've got the sniper rifle now. Come on, car, go, go, go. Just in case those sniper around there has respawned. So I don't really need to go and take him out anymore. I've got me uh, sniper rifle. Oh, can't get through that. Go there then. Cool. Oh, didn't like that. Sounded like something fell off. So let's get ourselves back. I mean you can, as long as you've got supplies with you and you've got somewhere decent to hold up. Like on that roof we could have stayed there and spent the night and then carry on the next day. But I really want to get the, um, slide in, I want to get the sledging made. Oh. 
that one. Bit of situational awareness. You can see where I've been whacking on those trees with that machete, getting some bark. Yeah, I can't see him anywhere. So anyway, I've got a bag full of stuff. So let's uh, let's um, how many slots have I got? One. Let's pick this wheel up because uh, it's getting in the way. Let's drop the wheels down here. There you go, it's one. So we got some tape. Uh, we got a cog in there. I've got some cogs in the van. This is weapon stuff. Let's check that. We've got grenades in a different box. So we want that out. That's our sniper rifle stuff. Let's follow up. And we've got tape. It's a good amount of tape to be honest. Let's take that out because we feel that. Uh, we've got one there with two. Might as well empty that. There you go. It's filled me up. Put those over there. So we've got some ammunition now as well. That's for the handgun, but what's this one? Yeah, hunting rifle there. And that's for the revolver. Reload that. So we've got another knife. Cool. We'll actually put that in the car, I think. I don't think there's any spaces left in these, is there? Uh, we've got a bit of space in there. Why have we, we got salt in there? We've got salt in there. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to go this way. That's that. I'm running out of uh, places for me food. I'm gonna have to just chuck it on the floor. A bit messy, but that's the job done. So this one, we'll button that in there. Um, let's put this that we've got into there. So that leaves us with three lashings required. Ain't got nowhere near enough leaves. So let's take these out. And we'll grab those out. So what do I need? I need four low quality. Low quality, and I need ten planks. Don't know how many I'm going to have. Let's get some more stuff out of here quick. Start getting stuff in. So we've got two there. See now, it's getting later. So, alright, on that one. Let's uh, take these. And remove this. Got a bloody run round because I can't jump over those islands. Let's take that one. 
We're rotating round. Oop, too far. Push him out. Drop in there. So, just for now. Oop, that one. Will it drop there? Yes. trying to stop things rolling away as I put it down so let's plop put these in here so that's that so I think we need do we, no we don't need that we need that is in the way so let's put this car battery down here again. Um, yeah, I need planks. So let's take that. Get my saw. What am I going to get? Four wood. Let's do it myself. It's going to take us up towards eight o'clock. It's just, yeah, it's just around. I've got eight. I need two more. Uh, what did I have in this one? Yeah. What do I need for this, Jack? How many cogs do I need? Is it three? Yeah. So that's the three gears. That's that. So 10 scrap, 5 components, so you got that, that, that should give me what I need to build it, so that's one and a half hours, my god. So what do we need to level up this bench? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Let's chuck these back in for now. So we now have a jack. We need two more wood. We can do that in the morning. We can grab that. So we're going to uh, fill our water bowl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these here, fill it, and then I can swap over, hit fill, because if you're not paying attention, you can actually keep do this, fill it, and then you forget to take the bottle. So this other water bottle I'm going to just chuck down here. So I'm going to call it a night that one on that one, guys. Let's light this fire again, just to I'll get the rest of that stuff done give him a bit of warmth so we've got this here to render so this is for our sledgy we need two more wood which i will do in the morning so thank you guys for watching i hope you're enjoying this miss series leave me a comment 
If there's anything you really like or don't like about the game, have you played it? What's your opinions on it? You know, hopefully on this next big update they're going to do, it's going to change the game massively. Uh, but we just have to wait and see, I suppose. So uh, I'm going to get this guy to bed because he's tired. And I will see you guys in the next one.